Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 6830. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality or a certain color just isn't printing and you've already gone to your printer maintenance and run your clean print head um, program and it hasn't doesn't work uh, multiple times, this is another step you can take to go ahead and clean your print head. Now I'm gonna talk about a few items here throughout the video. Uh, the link is going to be in the description below for all these, one of them being a print head cleaning kit, uh, a link to this printer and uh, printers that are a little bit more advanced. So if you were looking to upgrade, if this doesn't work for you, uh, you can upgrade to a um, better version of this printer if that was the a route that you were going to end up taking. Now the first step you're going to want to take is to remove all your ink, make sure this is lifted up and your print head is going to come to the middle here. You're going to want to make sure that you have paper towel you're going to fold up a piece of paper towel just like that and you are going to lay it right down in there once you have your print head directly over it then you're going to want to take out your uh, cleaning kit and in this case i'm going to use um, a syringe a regular syringe not the cleaning kit so this is the syringe that i use right here now i fill it with isoprofil alcohol and before you do this, you can actually turn off the printer. I won't this time, um, but you can go ahead and turn it off and just make sure you hold the print head in place. But you're going to basically, with your kit, it's gonna be a lot easier, uh, the one I'm gonna link below. But you just go ahead and go over each nozzle and you go ahead and clean each one out. So you press down the isoprofil alcohol or you can get a, a special cleaner, print head cleaner. Either one, both of them work isoprofil alcohol or the print head cleaning um, the isoprofil alcohol you can get at your local Walgreens or CVS uh, this one I believe is from Walgreens 70% uh, is kind of low I would actually recommend that you use 90% or higher but either way it's gonna work if for whatever reason this doesn't work now you're gonna want to do it a couple of times you're gonna want to um, with one hand you know place it right over the the nozzle with your kit it's gonna be much easier Press down the cleaning um, print head cleaning fluid through each one. Make sure you have the paper towel down there again. And then when you're done, just make sure you wipe all this down. Take out your uh, paper towel so that it doesn't cause any issues there. And then close it up. Print a, a test page on your printer and see if it works. If not, you can do it a couple more times. If that doesn't work, then you might have a bigger issue and you might want to go ahead and buy a newer printer. So instead of going and sending it out to get serviced you're going to spend a bunch of money this is fairly inexpensive and i'm giving you some options here in the, the description below where you can go ahead and um, either buy a new printer get the print head cleaning kit or you know go you can even go the cheaper route go to the store get some isoprofil alcohol uh, just like this 90 percent 92 percent get a regular syringe with the, with the tip on like that and uh, you'll be good to go you can do it very inexpensively make sure you have some paper towel and make sure when you're done to wipe everything down and make sure that it's off when you're doing this so that you don't get those uh, connectors there wet at all that'll cause some problems so if you have any questions at all go ahead and comment below make sure to like the video and subscribe thanks for watching and until next time